Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the previous episode, uh, we got betrayed by Kane. We lost Rosa, she was captured, Rydia and Yang dis and Edward all disappeared into the ocean. And we arrived at Mysidia. We uh, made friends with Poem and Palum who are helping Cecil climb Mount Ordeals. And we ran into Teller again. So that was pretty cool. So in this episode, we're going to continue exploring Mount Ordeals. So let's go. Don't exactly know how much is left of it. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies that Cecil cannot very, do very much against. The zombies and like undead resist um, dark damage. So hopefully Palum gets a turn like this and we can cast Fire. I don't think Teller's measly fire spell is going to be able to do this. Nope, definitely not. Come on, Palum. You can do it. There we go. Much better. Oh, wow. Still didn't... enough to take out all of them. Uh, we can do Cure Magic against them. Uh, as an option. This will hopefully take them out now. Oh, what? Why won't you die? Jesus. But yay, Cecil leveled up. Running into all those guys is not nice. But we found some treasure, so it's all good. Alright. I guess I'll show this battle as well, even though it's a back attack, and that's annoying. Wow, now I'm being fired against. Ha! Huh. Pathetic. Pathetic. Alright. Let's burn these zombies to a crisp. I think these souls actually absorb fire, but... Hey, I guess it's worth it. Maybe I'll just do it against this one guy. Wow, it still didn't die from that, holy shit. Just cast it on all of them. Oh, these guys take so long to kill. Even, and I've grinded too. I've actually made the effort to grind up Palum for him. And these guys still take this fucking long to beat. <laughs> oh my god. I should have left out this battle after all. Oh well. Um, yeah, kill him. Alright, now we just let Cecil deal with this thing. Yay! Jesus. All them form leveled up though. Didn't learn anything new, but that's fine. I wanna go this way. Oh my god, encounter rate. Right. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not fighting that battle again. This is definitely the first time I'm being actually challenged by the enemy somewhat. Palum ran out of MP. Um, so that last fight was actually quite a bit harder, because actually kept getting killed. Uh, I only have seven ethers, but I guess, because I, I don't know how much longer this um, area is going to be, I guess I'll use one. Why not? Oh, I just got one back. Sick. I guess the game probably knows the Paladin Forum don't really have enough MP for this place. Oh, hey, Lilith. I think you're weak to fire. If I remember from the end of the last episode. 
I'll just cast a normal fire spell. Yeah, see, they actually hit really hard against, um, well, against all of us, really, which makes a change. Most of the enemies before this hit like nothing, which is what made this game so easy. Oh, Summit. Hiss, hiss. Palum? It's not me. <laughs> yeah, Palum thinks it's Palum making a hissing noise. Alright, well, there's a save point here. That's good. And my tents are here. We go sleep. Alright. I wonder if I'll be facing a boss battle anytime soon. Hmm. Hiss, hiss. I told you to stop. It isn't me. Uh oh. Hiss. Hiss? An evil presence draws near. Such pleasure I will take in slaying you all. Who's there? Uh oh. Oh yes, that theme! I am Golbus's fiend of Earth, Scarmiglione, and my undead children shall feast upon your flesh! Hmm. Normal boss music. Bum, 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 bum. Well, we've been fighting all undead enemies all the way up this fucking mountain, so... You ain't shit. But you are not special. Yeah, Cecil really has nothing to do here. He deals one damage to all these freaking zombie dudes. So, I'm actually gonna get Protect on Palum because I'm not a big fan of having five targets attacking all at once. When he's gonna be my main damage dealer right now, I just had him cast Boast so his wisdom increases, and these guys like to cast Drain apparently. Sick. Uh, Palin, why did you not just cast your spell? Is he stopped? What happened? Why did he not cast it? Did I have him cast fire? I swear I did. Something interrupted his ATB. Go. Go. There we go. Burn. Yeah. Let's just get a heal, why not? Don't know if Scummigan is actually weak to uh, fire or not. Doesn't really look like he is. It's funny that the Fiend of Earth casts lightning magic. Oh, Cecil actually can damage this guy, sick. Bum, bum, bum. Well, let's Libra him and see if it tells us. Or is this just... Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't work. <laughs> Sick. Wow. Look at Palom right now. Holy shit. He's so good. But yeah, this guy doesn't stand a chance. Now that we've got rid of all his cronies... He is toast. Ow, probably should have cast Cura there. Keep forgetting Tyler has Blink, uh, which is a really good spell. It's like an ev evasion spell. Ugh, my body! Like, think, think like Image from Final Fantasy V. And I think, well, the Blink spell is in five as well. But yeah, I guess you know what it does then. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to the save point. For reasons. Because I need my MP. So, that was a pretty anticlimactic four Fiends fight. Hmm. 
Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Well done, but my true strength lies in death. And with it, I'll drag you all into the abyss! This is the real fight, and we get back attack. So before you want to enter this fight, you want to change your rows and invert them so you don't have to waste time changing your rows around. And this is the real Four Fiends fight. The music is so epic. Probably my favorite theme in the game. So this guy likes to do physical attacks, but I mean, so far they're not that bad. Uh, but I'm probably going to have Telecast, at least Telecast Blink on Palin. Yeah, see, they actually do quite a lot of damage. So good. Alright, so we want to boast. So yeah, I'm going to have Telecast Blink on Palin because he's probably yet again going to be my main damage dealer. Don't know if this guy is again weak to um, fire. God, look at that animation. It's so like, glitchy. And um, maybe slow. Poisoned. So that's what this guy's about. He poisons you too. So I'm not sure yet. Oh, we actually got slow on him. Sick. I'm not sure. Okay, let's um, let's get Blink on Teller as well. I'm not sure if he's actually weak to fire. Oh, wow, he's definitely weak to fire. Jesus Christ, that's the most damage we've done the whole game. 1,460 damage. Wow, those, look at those guys. They're just fucking... Oh, I don't, you don't have Poisoner? Okay, I'll have you use a... Uh, my one antidote. Crap. Well, Teller has a Sooner. Yeah, get Palm another turn. Let's just cure up. This guy is toast. Oh my god, he's already dead. Palum, why are you so strong? Holy shit. Freaking wrecked, mate. <laughs> Damn. Easy money. How? How could I be beaten by the likes of you? Kane did tell you not to underestimate our strength, though you probably should have underest shouldn't have underestimated Palum's strength rather than Cecil. Damn, bro. Alright. My son. Son? Who are you? I've been waiting. It fills me with sorrow, but I will grant you my power. And grieve that no other way remains. This is a very cool theme. Oh, A holy light! Cecil has long hair! How is he keeping that underneath his helmet? Apart from your past, Conquer the darkness within. If you can't overcome your past self, the sacred light will reject you. Wait, what? There's two of them! What's going on? Sir Cecil! Cecil! Dude! Look out! This is my own fight to amend my past. I must defeat him. Oh. Oh, we gotta fight the Dark Knight. I like Cecil's battle paladin sprite a lot. True paladin would. Oh, I think I've just gotta defend, right? I think that's the gimmick of this fight. Sheath his sword, yeah, you gotta defend. Or cover, maybe? Oh, let's try cover. I guess. You've just gotta not fight the dude, I think. Cure. Sixty-nine. <laughs> so 
gonna keep healing myself. I think I just don't have to fight him. I don't really know what we have to do. I think, I think it changes per version. Justice is not the only right in this world. Someday, you will see. Go, Cecil. Yay! Well done. Now my spirit will become the power of light and will be entrusted to you. Receive the last of my light. My son, stop Golbez. Please wait. My son? Mm. Yay. Only five episodes in and we've already become a paladin. That's pretty good going. <laughs> very cool, very cool. I have to say, I like Cecil's design as a paladin a lot more in the 2D versions than I do in 3D versions. I, th I think, I don't know if that's just me. But... Are you okay? So you were serious about, shh, what's this feeling? It's so familiar, Th the voice. Oh, oh, tell her? All of my spells, I remember them all. Yay, tell her got an upgrade too, he's not completely... Somewhat useless now, he actually knows a lot more spells. This is... Meteo? That light bestowed upon me the forbidden black magic. Hmm. We get Meteor this early? Really? He is indeed a great sage. Hey, pour him! So Cecil, to tell you the truth, we... Okay, I'm ready now. Let's go get Golbez. <laughs> what are you doing, Cecil? We must go. Yes. That light said, my son. Wait, wait a sec. <laughs> Let's be on our way, Sir Cecil. Very interesting. Well... Dumps us right here on the on the mountain, but we are a level one paladin now, with no equipment. <laughs> we have the legend sword. But the reason I bought that armor in uh, Mysidia is because yeah, he starts with like barely any equipment. So we got a light helm, and then some knight armor, and then I obviously would have had a gauntlet. I don't think I have like a oh I can give him a ruby ring. Can't equip the iron ring, but it's better than nothing. And Cecil will learn some white magic so far, he only knows Cure, and he only has 10 MP, which isn't great. Uh, but yeah, I've got to walk all the way back down the mountain, all the way back to Mesidia now. Uh, so I'll just do that off screen, so I will meet you back there. Alright, made it back to Mesidia, just rested at the inn, and because Cecil starts at level 1, uh, even though he's like quite, you know, quite competent, uh, he actually levels up a bunch Like when you get into random fights. You got all the way to level 10. Um, and he learned Sight and Libra, and then uh, Porum leveled up again and learned Berserk. And just to show you all Teller's spells now, you know, it's like basically all white magic. Like he has like Arise and Curaja, but this is like, he only has 98 MP and his MP will never grow. Which for, for reasons we'll see in a second here, but he has like Haste, uh, he has a load of really good magic. And then Black Magic, he has all the tier 3s. Really good. Bio, Tornado. Meteo here, 99 MP. Tello only will ever have 98. His MP will never grow. This is very interesting. So, uh, yeah. It'll all become clear eventually. So, will the people say something different to me now? Yes, I became a paladin. You didn't think I could do it, did you? Nope, I knew you wouldn't. Doubted me. Oh my word! I did it, boss. I did a thing. Well, there you have it. I was pretty surprised too. What do you mean? I'll admit it's the true task was to keep an eye on you. I'm glad that it was no need, though. That's the reason we accompanied you. 
Sorry we didn't tell you. No, you were well within your rights after all I've done. But you overcame your past. You are now a paladin. Oh, where'd you get that sword? I received this on the mountaintop. It's engraved with the Mycidian legend. Really now? Oh. Oh. One born from a dragon's mouth. Hoisting both light and darkness. Rises high up in the sky. Over the still land. Veiling the moon in the light of eternity. It brings a promise to Mother Earth. Bounty and mercy. Walls of text on blue backgrounds, yay! That light called me its son. I know not what it is, or what the legend means, but we Mycidians have been taught to pray for its fulfillment for ages, and to believe in the one with the sacred light. I am certain that one is you. Are you saying we're the chosen one? <laughs> we have to hurry and get rid of Golmez. Tell her? It's been a while. We met him on Mount Ordeals. This old man learned Meteo. What? It's the world in such a dire crisis. I must want to seal that spell. All I saw to Meteo was to avenge Anna. Golbez killed her. And now I can make him pay. You mustn't fight for vengeance, Teller. Moreover, you're in no condition to use Meteo. If I die, so be it. Golbez must be punished, no matter the cost. Stubborn as ever, you've not changed a bit. Nor you. Cecil is now a paladin. If the two of you work together, you just might defeat Golbez. However, we'll need to go to Baron to get an airship first. Very well, I'll open the Devil's Road. Go then, to Baron. I'll pray for you in the Tower of Prayers. The Tower- I'll pray for you in the Tower of Prayers. <laughs> Paladin Cecil? <laughs> Paladin Purim, return to your studies. Didn't you tell us to help him? Please allow us to go with him. The light on Mount Ordeal has accepted you as well. Yes, this may be your fate. Cecil, tell her. Please take care of these two. Bum, 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 bum. But, <laughs> you know what you, we can do, don't you? Right. Yeah, Palum's like... Did you see how much damage Palum did to that fucking boss? Okay, I'm counting on you all. Look at this ragtag group. Two child mages and an old man. Woohoo, alright. Calm down, Palum. Shall we be off? The entrance to the Devil's Road is in the building on the east side of town. I'll be in the tower praying for you all and all living things. Best look to you. Alright, cheers boss. Well, we can go in here now. Oh, yes, there's the crystal room. Wait, where did he go? In the back? Oh. So, we've literally just... Okay. Cool. Alright, so now we have a new objective. Going back to Baron through the Devil's Road. I want to see if I can actually buy a couple things first. Uh, well, mainly just probably this, the gauntlet. I guess maybe a silver ring would be nice. I don't even think I need the gauntlet, honestly. Gaia gear might be good. I got another guy again, and I guess a silver ring. Currently, you have leather here. I think Palum has the bard outfit. It's better. And then a silver ring. Yeah, it's just a big defense upgrade. I guess my healer probably needs that, so uh, yeah, I'll go with it. Alright. I guess that's all we need to really do in the city here. Or just remember the code of the paladin. Is this guy gonna run away from me still? You're a paladin now? I can't believe it! Yeah, you don't have to be scared now. Alright, let's go. Nyoing. Teleportation! Across the ocean. Some weird sounds. Hey, we're back in Baron. It's a familiar sound. I 
not take us on the world map? I want to go into town. Alright. Um, so, what, what do? The king arrested Sid for treason. Things has grown unreasonable lately. Uh-oh. A monk was invited to lead the guards. They're at the inn. Really? A monk? I missed that Dark Knight. I kind of liked him. You oh. A monk, you say? Now he says it's the soldier's fault we get so few customers. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Wait a minute. Young? Is that you? Wait my drink. <laughs> Heard says locked up for hiding his latest airship. Really? Really now? Young! You probably don't recognize me. It's me, Cecil. I've become a paladin. So the traitor shows his face. Get him! Sir! Um. 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 Young, no! What the hell? Young, we're friends! I thought we were friends. Oh, really? You didn't have to do that. I don't think I have anything to cure that. Well. Sick. <laughs> Alright, now I can uh, cure it with Tower. You can still use... Oh, come on. No, just don't use Pig on me. Still use magic when you're minied. I don't think these guys probably have a weakness. Oh wow, that actually did quite a lot though. Young, don't you recognize me? Of course I do, criminal! No! Young, I don't want to fight! I don't want to fight you. Die! I think we have to beat him up. Ow, Jesus Christ. I don't remember if we have to beat him up or not. Heal. Ugh. I'm sorry, I don't want to burn you. You leave me no choice. Young bro. Come on. Come on. Oh, god damn it. Really? You just fucking killed Porum. Ugh. Yeah, stop it, damn it. Cecil, weren't we attacked by Leviathan? I remember a little after that. It seems Baron manipulated you while you were under a bout of amnesia. For fuck's sake. Forgive me. <sighs> Where are Rydia and Edward? If Rydia was swallowed by Leviathan. I don't know the Prince Ed I don't know of Prince Edward's fate. I see. Where am I? Baron. Let's get a room. Soldiers are everywhere. You know what I said at the start of the LP about stupid story moments? This is probably the first big one that comes to mind. Um, I don't know if any of you have watched Pro Jared's video on Final Fantasy 4. He does like reviews. He's, doing, he's been doing reviews of all the Final Fantasy games in like chronological order. And he did a really good one on Final Fantasy 4. And he said, he, he said a really good point about this game that I really understand. Is that everything in the story is a fake out. Young is betrayed you. He's calling you a traitor. Oh wait! But he had amnesia, and he's being mind-controlled. This is the first instance of just everything being a fake-out. And we're going to see many, many, many more. This is the big problem I have with this game's story. It's so stupid. It's like it doesn't know what, what else it can do to make an, the plot interesting, other than have a bunch of fake-outs. I, I don't understand <laughs> why it does it so much. Story is so much worse for it. Who's this gentleman? The Sage Teller. Edwards. My daughter loved him and sacrificed her life for him. 
See, I'm young. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Palum's just chilling in the bed. I'm a Mysidian prodigy Palum. Feel free to ignore him. I'm his twin sister, Porum. That hurt, man. <laughs> turns, he just turns away. Stop it, Palum. I am ashamed. Anyway, we must now rescue Sid. It won't be easy to sneak into the castle. You think? What is this? The Baron Key. They must have entrusted you with it when they were under your watch. When you were under their watch. This, we can go through the underground waterway. We got the Baron Key. Very convenient. <laughs> but now we have a way into the waterway so we can sneak into the castle. Rather than just trudging up to the front door, I suppose. Let's go. So, Young has returned. Still with all the stuff, thankfully. Can give him any better armor? No, clothes is worse. And I guess an iron ring. And does he have thunder claws? Oh, ice. Wait, I have two ice claws. Where are my thunder claws? Do I not have thunder claws? I could have. Did I accidentally buy two th uh, ice claws back in uh, Fabul instead of thunder ones? God damn it. I meant. What? I could have sworn I bought thunder claws. I'll have to go back and watch the footage. I think we can buy some in Baron though, because now, if you remember, this I this uh, weapon shop was actually locked. For whatever reason, the uh, the workers are just locked inside their own store, and they need us to free them. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can buy Thunder Claws. Thank God. I'll buy some Thunder Claws. Can now buy a Thunder Rod. I'll get one of those Thunder Arrows. Why not? Um, I guess I'll buy two Thunder Claws actually. So I can, I can, and another set of five. So I'll have two sets of each. So then I can swap between what elements I want to have. So if I want to have ice, I can have two ice. I can have two fire. I can have two thunder. That sort of stuff. Considering we're about to go into a waterway. Um, I think... Oh, I only bought two thunder arrows. That's kind of stupid. Instead of a stack. I think because we're going into a waterway, it would make sense to have... Thunder Claws equipped. Just my logic there. Um, I can buy a headband, a Kempo Gi, and a Silver Ring. I'll definitely buy a headband. Um, I know this is a secret passage in there somewhere, isn't there? Yep. I always remembered this because... I always remembered this. But the reason being... Um, you know in like Chrono Trigger, I know this is a very, like, they do it in a lot of games, but I always remember in Chrono Trigger, there's always chests behind the counters that you can never get to, and it always bothered the hell out of me. <laughs> wow, is that better or worse? It's more attack, but it's less defense. There. Um, I could have sworn we could like find a Kempogi somewhere. Yeah, I'm wrong. Whatever. I guess I'll uh, buy a Kempo Gi. Doesn't hurt to have two if I come across another one, I guess. So, yeah, let's equip that much better for Young. Very good. So, the Baron Waterway is this big building over here that was locked, but the f I want to actually do one thing first. Um,. I think I never really thought about doing this at this stage, but you can actually do it. So, if you remember the Village of Mist, um, where we got it destroyed and we met Rydia, we can actually go back there now, because we couldn't go back there before and actually explore the place, because it was blocked off because of Titan. If we go all the way back through the Mist Cave, we can actually go back to Mist and take a look around. So, I'm going to uh, walk over there off screen, and I'll meet you over there. Alright, just walked through the Mist Cave, and now we can actually enter the Mist Village. And hey, it's not completely burnt down. What happened? 
This may be the end of the summer's and mist. I heard the soul of an idol and rests under Baron. Really? Women, children, highly trained summoners, all lost in that tragic fire. So it would seem that in the time we've been gone, they slowly rebuilt uh, the town. And uh, we can uh, take a little secret passage through this fireplace. Get a gold hairpin, some clothes, and a ruby ring, and then carry on through another secret passage. Oh my god. And get a change rod. What the hell is a change rod? Well, let's take a look at all the stuff we got. The most notable things that actually matter are a gold hairpin. I think it gives resistance. If I remember correctly, it actually gives resistance to lightning damage in this game. It's not like the gold hairpin from 5 where it halves MP cost. Uh, that would be too OP at this point. So, Forum right now is resistance to earth and lightning, I believe. And then the change rod, also known as the polymorph rod, is kind of an interesting one. I believe when you use it as an item in battle, it casts pig, which is not nearly as good as an ice rod. But I mean, I think it increases his intellect more than the ice rod does. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll give Tala this thunder rod. I mean, let's see, we'll give, okay, so, Talon's stats right now, uh, his wisdom, I guess, what is this, what is called, is 28. If I give him, so that's with the polymorph rod, change rod, if I give him the ice rod he had before, 23. So it actually is quite a significant amount. So yeah, the change rod is very good just for increasing uh, intellect, or wisdom. So yeah get some extra secret treasures in here. So I guess that's a, a big... A, the majority of the reasons actually come here. The items we call come from another plane deep underground. Hmm... Seems we don't know very much about these idolins. Oh, a bomb fragment. Oh, a bomb fragment. I didn't even know that was there. I just kind of saw it and thought, hey, that looks like a secret. What armors can we buy? A bard robe. Uh, I think it may be bad. I think someone still has leather equipped. You have guy gear. You have knight stuff. You have bard. So you actually have a bard. You have Kempo gear. I think Teller. Teller has guy gear. I don't think the bard robe is better. No, it's not. Oh, we should actually sell some stuff. I'm getting pretty full on inventory uh, like this harp you don't need basic rod the dark stuff that I don't need a basic staff uh, clothes another basic staff leather um, it's probably all that I want to sell Definitely don't want to sell the Baron Key. That would be awkward. Uh, so let me organize. I've got leather clothes just chilling up there. I really need to sort out my uh, inventory. I'll probably do it in between episodes. Maybe I'll get rid of that too. We definitely need more inventory space. Need to make sure that nothing else ends up in that spot. There we go. I'll probably try and sort out some items in between episodes. Buy a whip, a dancing dagger, and a hand axe. I don't know if the hand axe is better than uh, Cecil's um, sword. We can also get a dancing dagger, which apparently Palin can use. You know what I'm gonna do? Just because I'm too, I could just do this by um, googling it. I'm gonna make a save state. And then I'm gonna buy this hand axe and see if it's better because I have no way of knowing if I'm wasting my money or not. It's just easier to do this than googling it. So I have 45 attack, 41 attack. It's actually, it's actually worse. So I don't want to buy that. Thank you very much. And the dancing dagger. I believe when you use it as an item in battle, it's kind of. I think it's actually better. I can't remember how it works in this game. It's not the same as 5. I know that. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to try and find out in between episodes and see if it's worth it. But, I mean, that's about it. That's about... Oops. That's about all there is to do. 
in the mist. There's really not that much to do apart from the couple shops. I think the fact that you can't go in, like, it's meant to be kind of burnt down, I believe, obviously in the 3D versions, it shows that a lot better. Um, I guess the fact that you can't enter these build a lot of these buildings is meant to symbolize that they're kind of burnt and ruined, but with the graphic, with the graphical limitations, I suppose, it's kind of hard to uh, show that, so... Yeah, that's basically all there is to do in Mist, but I think it's worth coming just to get those extras. So yeah, I will end this episode here, I believe. That is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the next episode, we will head into the Baron Waterway to attempt to get back into the castle. So yeah, I will see you next time. Be sure to subscribe if you have enjoyed, and I will see you then. Take it easy!